All right. <clears throat> so the trade deadline's over. I've still got my board up here. I'm going to do a little bit of a summary of what happened today in the trade deadline because it was it was interesting. It was slow. I predicted it. I called it. I said it was going to be slow. People said not to be slow, and then it was slow. So the other issue that's going on, and, and there's still a lot of views going on with the video, is the last night's hit with Colin Miller. Now, it's been announced that the Boston Bruins for defenseman will not be suspended. As I argued last night, he shouldn't be suspended. Now, my perception of a hit, and, and it's it's been discussed before, is, is weird because, um, and, and I actually did a video on this last night that I did not upload. So I thought, I, I thought about it. Shadow, stop. Thought about it last night and I thought, no, that's probably a little too much swearing. Probably a little too coarse. I've spent a long time on this channel, working on this channel over the last nine months. And and for this video, what I did was I, I, I grabbed my Bruins toque, and this Bruins jersey I bought in 1991. So 26 years ago, and uh, other than a couple of pulls and snags, and yeah, a few, uh, more than a few pulls and snags, it's in pretty good shape. And uh, it is it is the second hockey jersey I ever bought. Um, the first being the Canucks. It was a it's one that's downstairs that Yvonne's still working on. I don't know that she can fix it. I don't. Um, but she's trying because the Canucks jersey downstairs. I'll put it this way. Um, I actually tried to sew the crest back into place at one point. Like it, it was in really bad shape, and there's a lot of a lot of string that's come loose. And I don't know if she's gonna be able to fix it, but she's trying. But this was number two. And this was number two for a reason, because I was a Vancouver fan and a Canucks fan, or a Vancouver fan and a Boston fan. When Miller laid out Burmistrov last night, the first thing that struck me was the injury to Burmistrov. The NHL has been very clear that they feel um, the injury will affect whether or not there is supplemental discipline. Now, I, I say this knowing there wasn't any. And I didn't think there would be, because partly because he got kicked out of the game. The NHL also is in an interesting position. I, I get clean hits. I, I get it. But with the ongoing class action lawsuit against the NHL involving concussions, the NHL is in a position where I'm sure they've instructed referees. Any hit to the head, you got to watch it. Any hit to the head, you got to watch it. Based on the fact that was a five in a game last night, it tells me that perhaps NHL referees have been told, hey, you guys aren't calling this enough, and the league's starting to, you know, feel the heat for this. You guys have start, got to start calling five in a game. I mentioned that over the, the Brandon Manning bit and over um, Nyquist was especially egregious, where I'm like, wait, how's that not five in a game? What does it take to get five in a game? So now last night we saw five in a game. I didn't didn't mean oh I'm I'm really glad Miller got it. I just meant I'm I'm glad they've started calling that again. Of course there's gonna be mistakes. Of course. And I'm gonna make mistakes because I'm human. The, the funny part is, you know, I, I post a video and one of the comments was, well, referees make mistakes and they're human and you're stupid kind of thing. I'm like, wait, what? So because I post a video where I'm like, eh, borderline. Mm. knowing that that there's there's definitely a, a movement in the NHL to, to just, you know, head hits have got to go, regardless of, of reason or, or where or when or what happens. And, you know, I, I make the video, and then apparently the referees are allowed to make mistakes, but I, as a hockey fan, if I'm mistaken in the way I call a, a, a play, that's fine. If I'm mistaken when it comes to when my playoff picks are, are done that's fine. I don't have a problem admitting I'm wrong. I don't. And if, if my statement on a Colin Miller hit last night is wrong, absolutely, that's fine. No harm, no foul. It's done. The Bruins move on to the next game. That's fine. But I, I think 
what gets me, and, and, and this is a YouTube comment section thing, is when it, it turns into this personal attacking thing. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up with a reputation here as a guy who deletes comments that disagree with me. And that's not true. But as soon as a comment goes personal, as soon as a comment crosses a line, I will delete it. It doesn't matter who it's directed at. Um, I've seen other users on the channel get, you know, comments made, and I try to remove them before that user even knows. You'll, I mean, you'll, you'll get it on, you know, if you get notifications, you'll get a notification either via email, on your phone, whatever. So-and-so made a comment, you know, oh, what a prick. And by the time you get to my channel, I'm hoping I've already deleted it. I'm hoping I've already deleted it. Um, cause it's, it's, um, it's one of those things that I know with YouTube, I have to watch. I have to watch the comment section because it turns into just this explosion of crap. And I've prided myself from day one in not having this channel devolve into that because there's enough yeah, of that on YouTube. There just is. But where, where I find it weird is when the hit happened. The first thing I said to Yvonne, because we're watching the game together, when it happened, I said, I have to do a video on this because if I don't, I'm going to be accused of being biased. Let's think back. Montreal's playing Boston. Tory Krug levels Andrew Shaw. Because I did not do a video about that, and because I said, ah, that's a clean hit, I immediately was accused by Montreal fans of having a bias towards Boston. And, and that bias was there... I was getting comments for days. You're, you're biased in favor of Boston. I don't care what you have to say. You're biased in favor of Boston. What I should have done and what I would have done if, you know, uh, looking back, hindsight being 2020, is done the same thing I did with the Colin Miller hit. And I would have gone through it step by step and why I felt it was a clean hit. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Because I'm really, basically, in these videos, I'm putting myself out there like, here's what I think. I'm on this stage that, you know, goes around all the internet's tubes into various parts of the world. And this is what I think. But again, if, if you disagree with me, cool. I have no problem having a, a, a debate with people about why. If you look at my, my 30 favorite teams, you'll see that I have movement in that because my opinion changes. My opinion on hitting in hockey has changed as well. Um, there are a number of hits that 20, 30 years ago I cheered when they happened, and if they happened now, I would wince and go, oh man, that guy's really hurt. Because what the NHL calls has changed, and it's going to continue to change. And what we call a clean hit today could change quickly because of the fact that concussions and the way they build up and what it does to the human brain that's just starting to be understood and professional football and professional hockey probably more than any other sports in North America are going to be affected by those findings so it's sort of like roughing the quarterback which was done more to protect star players in the NFL. But it's taken a lot of really good hits out of the game. I mean, I, I used to cheer where sometimes a quarterback would just get smoked. And I would just cheer. Depending on the quarterback, of course. But those are gone. And there's a day coming where some of these hits that you guys like, and I like too, are probably going to be gone. Because the NHL has to err on the side of safety. And they haven't done that a lot this year. Again, I have no problem with Colin Miller not being suspended. I'm a Bruins fan. Anybody who's been watching my videos for a while knows I am a Bruins fan. Absolutely. And at no point last night in the video I posted regarding the hit did I say Miller should be suspended. I said could be. And I said could be because of the fact that, you know, the likelihood of a concussion was high. The fact that if a player gets injured, the NHL is more likely to suspend. I don't agree with that. And I've said that in other videos. I have said that in other videos, that I don't think it should matter whether a guy gets injured or not. You know, if if a guy stands across the street from me with a gun and shoots at me, but he misses, it's not like I call the police and they go, well, yeah, but he missed. Well, yeah, but he, he tried to, to 
kill me. Yeah, but he didn't, though. Or, he grazed my ear. Well, yeah, but that's just a band-aid. I don't really see... I don't know why we're here. And and as ridiculous as that is, you know... As ridiculous as that is... The NHL shouldn't be looking at, well, did somebody get hurt? They should be looking at, what can that hit do? What can this play cause? What message are we sending to other players? And they don't always do that. And I don't think that, let's say you lay out two players with the exact same hit. One of them gets badly injured. The other one takes the hit better and gets right back up. Should you be suspended as a player because the first guy didn't have himself ready or there was something about him, maybe he's fragile and he gets injured easily, should you be suspended for the first play and not for the second when they're the exact same play? And that's that's my issue with the NHL at this point, is that I know injury factors into it and it, it shouldn't. It really shouldn't. Anyways, let me know in the comments below why I'm wrong. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. And I will be discussing the intricacies of the trade deadline. And it was the deadline, just as I said it was going to be. But uh, it, it was fun to it was fun to do, and uh, I I'm grateful to everybody who was in that stream. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, where this channel can continue to go now as we wind down towards the playoffs. We get into expansion draft, draft, free agency. I'm going to be discussing all of this. And when these hits take place, whether it's a team I cheer for or a team I don't, I assure you there is no bias on my part as to what is a good, what is a bad hit. And I will always listen to constructive comments regarding the issue. Do I think Colin Miller's hit was dirty? Based on comments on my channel last night, based on rewatching it a few times from a few different angles, no. There you go. There you go. I learn. And sometimes you're not going to get that with certain voices in sport and definitely not going to get that with certain fans in sport. Uh, I do my best to avoid being biased in favor of my favorite team. Sometimes I'm biased against them because I'm trying so hard not to be biased in favor of them. So that does sometimes get in there and I do my best not to let that get in there. Oh, it's rough inside my head. All right. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you all again soon. And for anybody wondering where Wednesday Hockey is, Yvonne has my phone and she's supposed to be recording it herself. So when she gets home, for you guys wondering, oh, both, both the boys hockey. From what I understand, I believe Malachi's playing. I believe Gabriel's not feeling well. So, or playing that he doesn't feel well. He sometimes does this. He'll have like a leg or a shoulder or something bugging him. And then as soon as he's allowed to go on his computer, he's fine. It's a miracle. I do not understand kids not wanting to play hockey. I've watched them out there playing and I've been like, you know what? Give me a stick. I'll go out there. I'll go out there and play right now. Because I watch them and it's frustrating sometimes. Because I, and I, I want to go out, put on a pair of skates, go out on the ice and just mow a couple of kids over mine and show them this is how you're supposed to play the game with some passion and intensity and interest and hold your stick right for god's sake all right that's enough for me for now uh, i will be discussing uh, the trade deadline uh, again and uh, what did or didn't happen and why things did or didn't happen so there's a lot of questions about that in the chat today so i will definitely address that thanks for watching i'll talk to you all again soon